Hi everyone, so it's a pleasure to be here today. Um, so my name's Saha, I'm the founder of Arky App, which is an augmented reality platform that helps um, designers visualize on top of the real world. So today, uh, instead of giving you a product demo, I thought I'd take you on a journey uh, through our exploration at Arky App with augmented reality and spatial design. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's actually a, a journey that started at Augmented World Expo around in 2013, where I demonstrated my first uh, augmented reality game, Hermiton. Um, it actually fueled a decade-long study into spatial design and AR. So as a former architect, my focus over the years has been to use augmented reality as a tool that enables designers a more immersive, uh, visualization method. So at the basis of design sits critical thinking, and if we can visualize better and more immersively, we can ultimately create spaces that are, um, you know, that are that correspond better and are more responsive. So Arky App was birthed um, as uh, an iterative design visualization platform. Of course, in 2013, we didn't have SLAM technology available. So the early versions of Arky were running, well, using image tracking, running on an iPhone 5. So as a design tool, augmented reality has always been a great way to communicate complex design problems in an engaging way. And although the early versions of Arky served as a cool presentation tool, we needed to break free from image tracking to really experience AR as a spatial medium. So when AI Kit came out, I couldn't wait to start location-specific visualizations, breaking free from the traditional screen-based 3D visuals and into a new reality of location-specific visuals. But what we soon realized was that when you're dealing with architectural models, they're often incredibly large, and you're dealing with sites that are fairly complex, you know, moving cars, built up infrastructure. So trying to do you know, architectural visualizations in real time in AR was trickier than we thought. Um, of course, this demo, uh, which was our footbridge demo, made it to Apple Park. It was featured at Apple Spring Loaded. But we soon realized that for the best architectural visualizations, it's very much dependent on the type of model that you're working with and the surrounding site. So ARKit essentially kick-started um, a new phase for Arky. We built and released several case studies looking at how augmented reality could revolutionize the way designers communicate with their stakeholders. So the next-gen railway footbridges um, project was released to the public to allow project sponsors across Network Rail, who are the UK's rail infrastructure system, to visualize future footbridges across various stations throughout the UK. Um, the footbridge catalog was actually designed by several different architecture studios. And to bring these projects to life, we built several interactive features within Arky that allows users to scale, um, animate, explode, and even texture these footbridges on site. So at Parsons School of Design, um, students used Arky to create digital spatial narratives, where they're essentially superimposing uh, 3D models across various locations throughout New York City. So by using AR, um, students can easily learn how their ideas impact their city in real time, um, and how they can iterate and evolve their projects in relation to the urban environment. At Paddington Station, we built a prototype to visualize the new wayfinding signage that was being developed. Um, so the project explores how future stations can be easily modified uh, by using augmented reality as a design tool 
um, that allow station managers an easy and intuitive way to, um, you know, to place wayfinding signage and helping them to make informed decisions. So what was really interesting about this project was that although we managed to position and place these signs fairly accurately across the station, what we didn't anticipate was trying to get a clear camera feed um, at peak travel times throughout the station. So if anyone's been to Paddington, it's one of the busiest stations in the UK. And although these shots look like it's fairly empty, they were done at probably 5 a.m., it was virtually impossible to get good camera tracking. And so it kind of taught us that essentially busy places can't really be augmented. So last year, we decided to push the boundaries of des uh, design visualization, looking at how modular architecture could be easily created in augmented reality. So the hub station is the UK's new station design that was developed as a kit of parts by 7N Architects. And in Archie, we built an interactive tool that allows the public to create new station configurations from the kit of parts models. So the idea is to uh, provide um, a, or simulate a gameplay experience where users um, are in, in, or local communities are encouraged to engage further with their station architecture. And it also gives a platform to uh, network rail to iterate and evolve their station designs. So after a decade of mobile-based AR, you can imagine we're really excited to upgrade to um, the next version of spatial computing. Moving away from touchscreens to hand and eye tracking will ultimately give users a more intuitive design experience and allow them to iterate and evolve their projects even further. So if you guys are interested in design tech, you can download Archie on the App Store um, and you know, stay tuned as we evolve Archie to Vision Pro and beyond. Thank you.